What is up guys? I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Red Crucible 2 video. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you've not heard me talk about Red Crucible 2 in a video introduction in a very, very long time. And that's because as we all know, Red Crucible Firestorm was released back in early 2015. And we all thought, once we updated to the Firestorm update, that there was no possible way to revert back to Red Crucible 2. That the game was extinct non-existent, even unable to log into the servers which allowed you to play that amazing game. But that's no longer the case. This game is not extinct. This game is not non-existent. For I have found a way that pretty much every single one of my Brazilian and Portuguese subscribers have already found out that allows you to play Red Crucible 2 in 2016 on your computer, not Red Crucible Firestorm, and not Red Crucible Reloaded but Red Crucible 2. So, let's jump right into this tutorial. What you're gonna do is log into your favorite browser, I'm going to be using Google Chrome, and type in Red Crucible 2 Brazil up at the top. Once you go search it in your search engine, you're going to click the first result that appears, and as you guys can see, it's not in English, but don't worry, for the only button you have to click is this one right here. Once it finishes the download, you're going to run the download and continue clicking yes, next, next until you eventually have the game installed to your computer. I always recommend creating a desktop icon to more easily access the game. Then click install and always launch Red Crucible 2 once you finally install the game. Go back out of your browser because you will no longer need it and wait until the game loads up. It will take a second because this game is slightly older than some of the other more recent games that have been released. Once you get to this window right here, you will not have it say 1600 by 900. It will say something like 640 by 480. And that's your screen resolution, so you're obviously going to want to change that up to 1600 by 900 if you have a standard monitor like I have. And you're probably going to want to keep your graphics quality at either low or medium because that's what my older computer was best run at and I never was able to really run on ultra, but I do have my new computer now and it is able to run on ultra. Your input, leave it the way it is, do not change anything unless you really, really want to, but that's the way it was back in Red Crucible 2. So click your little uh, full screen button there, and as you guys can see, you are at a login page, but you can't log in just yet because you have not created your account. So click this one right here, this means new accounts, and you will see a list of four different boxes that you have to fill in. ID day login basically means what your username is when you log in. This is not your in-game player name, but your username that you will have when logging in. And this box right here is your password. So I highly recommend writing this one and this one down on a piece of paper or your phone or something so you do not forget that because you will have to log in a majority of the times that you do run the application. This right here is your in-game player name that you would like to have. Now you can change it after you create your account, but it does cost a small fee, so I would recommend choosing your best possible player name right now as you are creating your new account because it doesn't cost anything. And if you would like to figure out how to create an in-game player name with really cool characters like mine did back when I played Red Crucible 2, then I will have a video link down below in the description which explains how to create a cooler username than just the bland Latin letters. Now. This is your email, pretty self-explanatory, and that will also be used in aid of maybe forgetting your password or something. Click the term of ex Terms of Conditions Accept button, and then click Create Account. Obviously, you're going to need to go back into this one after you create your account because it will make sure that you know your password. Log in one more time after you click Create Account, and then Enter. And then once you enter, it will take you to the base camp. It will not do what I did. It will not take you to your player page. It will take you to the base camp. And unfortunately for you, the base camp will not look like it has for me. But don't worry because it will be changed right after you get back to your main player page. For some reason, when you first log in your very first time, the base camp is all glitched up. And uh, the very easy way to get rid of that is just click your escape button and figuring out a match that you want to join. But for the next couple of minutes here, I'm going to explain what each of these buttons mean. So I'll have an annotation down below if you understand Portuguese already um, to skip to uh, for the rest of the video. But for right now, I'm going to explain what each of these buttons mean. 
or for the most part, for which ones I understand. This basically means join match. This will take you to a random match. It could be any one of the maps available, but any one that is available, it will take you to. I don't recommend that just because I always usually like to choose the match and not have it just randomly click one. I'm not entirely sure what this one does, um, but it shows you the maps available. And I think it has a more specific search result. So if you want to maybe find any Frostbite maps, maps available in Demolition, then you can do that with that button there. This creates your own match, and you can choose between all of these different maps right here, and you can name it. You can choose either public or private. I would recommend staying on public for the, fo for the most part, just because in private, you will need to have other friends join and... If you are just beginning the game, you will not have any friends registered, so it's kind of a bust. So keep it on public and you should be good. This will have your different maps available. I believe this is Last Man Standing, Free For All, Team Deathmatch, Attack and Defend, and Demolition, although I could be wrong about these three up here. But if somebody could comment down below what each of these mean, then it would be greatly appreciated. But I'm, I know for a fact this is Attack and Defend, and this is Demolition. This is your amount of time available. If I go over to... Uh, team deathmatch here, you'll see that this is the team amount limit, the amount of kills that is needed before you win the game, the time, the amount of players that you want in the match, so it will be 8 people on the red team, 8 people on the blue team if it is 16, you can go up to 20, I believe, I don't think you can go to 22, um, it'll say that you can go to, but you can only go up to 20, I believe, this will be inf infantry only, so if you are in an A7 Autobahn match and you only want snipers, then this would be the button that you would want to click and enable that, and then this here allows radar, so I would generally click that off because I don't really want radar in the matches that I have, but that allows radar. Social here basically allows you to talk to your friends here, you can say hello, and this one right here, amigos, is basically every single one in your friends list. Private is basically a single person. So if you have somebody in your friends list and they message you and they say, hey, I wanna speak to you privately, then you click this one and then whatever the friend is there, and that will only speak to that friend and no one else. This one here is your profile. This will show your uh, wins and I think your team wins and your team deaths and then your free for all and then free for all deaths or it might be switched around XP and level and stuff. I'm level three right now. Not really too far into this game. ID and this here is your leader. This will be the leader of your friends. Obviously, I'm first place because I don't have any friends right now in this match. And then this here is the all time leaders of every single person who's played the game. So as you guys can see, I have 66 XP. This person has... Uh, 12,890,000. So they have a lot of XP compared to me. So they've been playing for quite a bit of time. And then this here is your messages. This is basically all of the friend requests that you will get. If you accept them, then you can easily just click here and then I click either accept or deny. And it's pretty self explanatory. This also will give you any updates about the game, although it will be in Portuguese. And for the most part, probably a majority of you guys watching this will not understand, anyways. So. That's your quit button, and obviously, you're going to want to go exit out and go to a certain match. So click Voltar, and then this button here will take you to the uh, browse matches. And then this also here is your options. I generally like my sensitivity at 100%. Um, these usually can stay all off if you are somebody who wants it to be low to mid settings. This is your visibility distance, and... Uh, this is your, I don't remember what this is, um, and then this right here is, I, I wouldn't recommend changing any of that. And then this also turns off chat and turns off HUD. Um, I'd recommend keeping this on unless you are like maybe creating a thumbnail for a YouTube video or something like that. And then this here is your sensitivity, volume, music, you know the whole drill. Then your resolution, you can automatically change it there as well. And then... What you're going to want to do is you're going to go want to join a match. So browse matches right here. And as you guys can see, there's Frankfurt, Red Dawn, A7 Autobahn, Santa House, and Favela. I'm going to go into Red Dawn, my personal favorite map. And uh, let's see if we can get any decent gameplay, guys. Now, this has probably about the same, maybe a little bit more players than Red Crucible Firestorm. I am also playing this at an odd time. Since this is on Brazilian servers, I believe it's like 11 p.m. in Brazil right now. So... Most of the people are probably all asleep. Since this is Brazilian servers as well, you can see up at the top right, my ping is relatively high, so it will be a decent amount of shots before you take out an enemy player, but that's better than nothing. I'm not really complaining too much, but uh, that's something to keep in mind. So it is a little bit more shots to somebody who has maybe a European, like they live in Europe or they live in the US. 
Um, and yeah, so, I mean, if you're watching this and you're from Brazil or South America, anywhere in that area, then hey, this should be relatively fast ping for you, so that's a plus. And uh, there are people that hack as well, so that's not a problem. There are quite a lot of hackers, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, Red Crucible 2, in all honesty, had a lot of hackers as well, so. Oh, well. See if we can take the hacker out, guys. I don't really know. Now, unfortunately, since this is not in an English country, this is in a Portuguese-speaking country, everything is in Portuguese, and you will just kind of have to figure out how to, uh, you know, speak the language. I don't know. You don't really have to learn how to speak the language so much as you need to just know what each of the buttons mean and each of the things on your HUD mean. The top left, obviously, radar. Then your top here, the time remaining and your teams. Then at the top right, it'll show your FPS ping. And then who killed who? Assass assassinado means killed. <laughs> and then um, the, top, the bottom right level, I'm level 3, 26 out of 50 XP. And then the armor level, so I have 40 out of 50 armor. So all pretty self-explanatory. Bottom left is um, who joined and left the match. Also in the bottom left, you will get any messages and um, pretty much all that stuff there will be in the bottom left so that's something to keep in mind and um yeah i don't really have much else i need to say other than i mean you guys definitely should try this out if you ever played red crucible 2 in the past then you seriously should consider this because hey it's it's like a step back in time honestly i've not played red crucible 2 since um whenever one of the last days red crucible 2 was out like february maybe january of 2015 so it's almost been a year now and I mean, being able to finally play this again, it's just amazing, so. Yeah, guys, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to get Red Crucible 2 on your computer in 2016, then be sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Red Crucible 2 videos. Depending on how many people like this, I might do more Red Crucible 2 videos in the future. I might hold off. I might play this a lot off camera. As you guys can see, my top right username is Exotic Gaming, but I'm probably going to do this for quite a bit off camera before I actually get um, to a decent level and I get you know cooler weapons because I don't really think everybody wants to see me playing with the M16 for a bunch of videos because that's that's kind of boring. So yeah, just uh, to keep that in mind, guys, um, it's it's one of those games that you really have to just grind before you eventually uh, get to. A decent level like I was in Red Crucible Firestorm level 35 so it'll take a while it'll take a very long time it took me not really playing super much but you know playing a decent amount I believe um, like seven months or so maybe like an hour a week or something like that so if you are somebody who would play like every single day for an hour then probably in maybe three months or so you will get up to level 35 and and then hey you're pretty much the best player ever so that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Like I said before, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to go check out my other Red Crucible 2 videos that I have posted to my channel. I have numerous Red Crucible 2 videos posted from quite a long time ago, but hey, now that Red Crucible 2 is allowed to be played again, it is a valid um, thing, so it's pretty cool. I'm just so happy to finally be playing Red Crucible 2, guys. It's just, it's just beyond amazing to be finally playing this amazing game. Again, even if it's not in English, I don't really mind. I'm just happy to finally be playing Red Crucible 2 again. So hopefully you guys are as well if you are watching this. I, I really hope that this was a uh, helpful thing. And oh, oh, two, 2 XP. I mean, 2 armor. That's not good. Oh, no. I'm almost dead. All right. But yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to do more videos of this in the future. Probably not right away. It might be a month or two before I eventually do videos on this. But I just want to get... Um, to a high enough level in XP so I can actually uh, do more, you know, in-depth videos like maybe a weapon review or something like that. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, for some reason, I'm in chat, so that's not good. Uh, okay, that's that's it. All right. And then um, you can end the match here. This will take you back to your home profile. Thought I'd tell you guys that at the very end. And then you can buy everything that um, you would normally get in Red Crucible 2. You can get every single premium weapon here. I actually believe that they have some of the ones that you were not able to get in Red Crucible 2, this one. Like the Mobster. I'm probably going to get the Mobster. Didn't realize they had the Mobster. I'm probably going to spend 900 coins and get that just because I love the Mobster. Double DZ, my very first premiums I ever got in Red Crucible 2. I used to have a lot of these, dear lord. 
this was this was good times back when the dual Uzis are these uh, secondary. Wow, these ones are even secondary. So the dual Uzis are actually a secondary in this version. Enforcer is uh, still the super powerful weapon that it was. You guys remember back a uh, while ago, and the Enforcer was updated, so it was a much faster firing weapon. This one is a one-shot headshot, so that's really cool. Crossbow, Tiger Saw, M4 Spec Ops. The ones that they didn't have available was the Katana. That's really cool that they have the Katana available. Not sure what the Fury is. I've never heard that before. And then the Mobster. So, oh, oh wow, okay. Then they have the Crowbar and uh, the Saiga, whatever the heck the Desert Hawk is, Tyrannus, MP7 Hive. So a bunch of different weapons, guys. Items as usual. Um, whatever this is, your whatever you can wear. I, I don't really bother with that too much. The, what is this? Uh, faces, equipment, you know, all the good stuff right here. I don't know if they have the snowman outfit, though. Do they have the snowman outfit? I'm not sure if they have the snowman outfit. Dear Lord, this is unacceptable. We're going to have to go put in a request to the Brazilian developers of this and tell them to to get ourselves a uh, snowman outfit. So, yeah, and then this obviously here is your available arms currently right now, although I wouldn't recommend getting any of these right now until you go to the classes menu here. Um... This is a classes menu where it goes by levels. As you guys can see here, you need to be a, a new certain level to actually get all of these. Um, eventually, wow, oh dear lord, there's tier 14. Tier 12 was the original one, so they have a new tier. Bacon maker? What is this? Is this the G36? That's interesting, but uh, yeah, so the Master Blaster. Okay, so this is just a very different version of Red Crucible 2, but it looks cool. It actually looks cooler than the original Red Crucible 2 because you can get things now in the class menu like the Cobra and the Master Blaster, the G36, all of these things. You can even get the Micro Uzi again if you guys never were able to get that. So, yeah, I don't really have much else I need to say though, guys. Now, seriously, I'm done. But, uh, oh yeah, this also is uh, how you get coins. And I believe it's probably through a PayPal. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this, then be sure to do that like, comment, and subscribe thing like I said earlier on in this video. I really hope this tutorial was helpful, and I really hope some of you guys watching this actually become dedicated Red Crucible 2 players, because I'm probably going to be one. I'm going to obviously still do Red Crucible Firestorm, just because Red Crucible Firestorm obviously looks a lot better than Red Crucible 2, but Red Crucible 2 was like the original FPS not really. <laughs> Not really the original FPS, but it was like it was like my original one. It was one of the first ones that I was a dedicated player to, so it's it's has a special place in my heart for me. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.